I'm not gonna speak bad on nobody's son. But y'all son. Hello, welcome to the start of this Get to Know Me series. Um, thank you guys for being here. Welcome to Jordan's Circle. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe below. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the questions. <laughs> okay, so if y'all don't know, I had put on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions, like stuff that y'all wanted to know. So I'm just gonna like read off the questions um, and just like, Give y'all some basic info. First of all, I have on this two-piece set. Super cute. It's from Target before y'all be asking. So shout out to Target. But I'm gonna just go ahead and get started with the questions. So the first question I got was, what do you enjoy most about being a YouTuber? I think what I enjoy most about being a YouTuber is that I can be myself. Like people have been telling me for years, like I should start a channel, like, just like being me and like being able to show you guys what I do other than like what you guys see on Instagram. Cause everybody knows like Instagram is not real life. Like if you follow me on TikTok, y'all know I'm like funny. Like I just like to be me. Like I think that's what I enjoy most about being a YouTuber and being able to like bring you guys with me and feel like I'm on TV. Like, yeah, like, yeah, y'all coming too. Like that's the vibe I feel like I like from YouTube. The next question is, how old you is? I don't, I'm not gonna out who said this, but don't type like that. <laughs> so y'all, I am 23 years old. My birthday is next month. My birthday's in August. We going stupid lit for my birthday. Shout out to my girl Jayla. Y'all remember her from a few vlogs ago, but we're going crazy. Leo season is nuts. But I'm 23, about to be 24 in August. What is the favorite place I've traveled? That's a hard question because y'all know I love to travel. The favorite, my favorite place that I've probably traveled would be Dominican or Mexico. I had a blast both times I went to DR. Like, and honestly, Mexico is top notch too. Like, if y'all never been out the country, like, the money is going to come back. The money is going to come back. Your time, these experiences, they literally won't. Like, go, get on that flight, call that Uber, call the fuck out of work, and go on a trip, please. I don't care where you go. And where are you from? I am born and raised in PG County, Maryland. Um, I'm like 15, 20 minutes from DC. 20 30 minutes from baltimore but i'm born and raised in pg county like i love it here i don't know if i would ever move but you know if i do that's the bridge that i'll cross like at another point in time so yeah that's where i'm from let's see what is something that most people believe about you that isn't true <laughs> this question is really good um a really common misconception that i've gotten a lot is do I have a job? Yes, I have several. That's the most common um, misconception that I get. Do I have a job? Jordan, Jordan Circle, we work. We work hard too. We work for every dollar we make. So that's something that a lot of people don't believe. Oh, I also, another misconception I get is that I'm mean. People think, I guess, from my Instagram page that I'm mean, but I am like, ball of sunshine like i don't know i don't know how to explain it like i'm very people person like i'm a people person i love talking to people like i can hold a conversation and i'm not mean i, I just for lack of better terms, i'm not mean now every once in a while i will catch an attitude but that's anybody like that's anybody but no that's a big misconception is that i don't have a job and that i'm mean so let's move on all right, the next question is, what career field are you in? What are your long-term goals? Okay, so right now I'm currently in the financial industry. Um, if you guys don't know, which y'all probably don't know, my undergrad degree is in finance from the illustrious Hampton University, the real HU, in case y'all didn't know. 
So I'm currently working on my Masters of Business Administration and your girl is walking the stage in December. So yes, that's the current career, career field I'm in. My part-time jobs are more so assistant type roles and I really love them. Like maybe later down the line, I'll start my own, you know, virtual assistant firm or company or whatever. But right now that's not where I'm at. So boom, there we go. That's the answer to that. Let's see. You got a man. Do I have a man? This question y'all, no. As simple as it gets, Stan says no. I do not have a man. Jordan is single. She is dating. She is living her life not worried about nobody's son. Because y'all sons... I'm not going to speak bad on nobody's son. But y'all sons, they not it. And y'all sons be out here. Mm. I'm. The answer is no, I don't have a man. I'm single. There we go. Boom. <laughs> okay. What has been the greatest lesson of adulting thus far? That's a great question. Um, I just think definitely time and money management, that is like a huge part of adulting. Like if I'm 23 and I think I'm Jada Wada, I better be counting money and seeing zeros like I'm Jada Wada before I'm spending money like I'm Jada Wada. And just to like live in the moment really like i am an overthinker i dwell on certain situations and sometimes stuff just isn't worth it like it really isn't but definitely have fun that's also like a really big life lesson like we think we're so old we not like we not have a good time like adulting you're gonna we're gonna keep adulting we're gonna keep getting older adults we're gonna have kids adults like Adulting just never stops. So I feel like while we're at this level of adulting, we have to like, you know, be smart, be responsible, but turn the fuck up at the same time. So I think that's of all of that in that long winded sentence is a, like the biggest lesson I've learned from adult. Are you in a D9 organization? Who is your favorite line sister? <laughs> Yes, you guys, I'm a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I crossed in spring 19. Shout out to all of my line sisters, Profites and Neos. Um, do I have a favorite line sister? I have a few. And I'm not even about to go on this camera and name a bunch of names. But I do have a fav favorite line sisters. I do love all my line sisters. And that's just it. So shout out to all the divine nine though because everybody lit what is your favorite hairstyle you change your hair every two weeks <laughs> y'all i really don't have a favorite hairstyle i can't lie i'm really loving this quick weave that i have right now but like like y'all said like i change my hair every two weeks like honestly when i went blonde 613 blonde i might insert a picture right here because that girl she ain't know how to act but i really don't have a favorite hairstyle i just really do enjoy getting my hair done i enjoy like you know looking pretty and you know when you look good you feel good so that's my main reason why i get my hair done so often just for me like i don't know i don't i don't know favorite way to wear your nails um i don't have a favorite way to wear my nails either i've been going to the same nail tech shout out to monica that's my girl but i mean when i first started getting my nails done i was long to the thong like my nails was probably from here to over here now i just go short and simple like let's see this is what we're giving right now i like a short clean look nowadays like i don't know i think it's a part of me getting older maturing and that's just like the vibe i'm giving now balancing work and social life how do I balance my work and social life? That's a good question too. I feel like <laughs> I, I'm very good with time management. Like I'm very good with time management. Like I have three to four jobs. Like it's really time management because it's enough. I, three to four jobs and I'm in school. Like it's plenty of time in the day. It's just when are you gonna get your work done? When are you gonna get your school work done? And when are you gonna prioritize anything after that? 
Favorite college memory? Mmm, that's hard. Y'all, college was lit. Like, Hampton, Onyx class, like, my homegirls, like, everything was lit. I can't lie. I don't know if I have a favorite college memory. I will say there were really funny times, like, we used to sneak in and out of dorms. Um, there was this one time we had went to ODU and our um, Uber driver left us in the rain and we was banging on her car like, lady, you not you about to drive us all the way to our dorm. And she was like, get the hell out, get out of my car. And she kicked like all of us out the car. Like that was a crazy time. 100 days, if y'all not hip to Hampton, 100 days, like it goes bananas. So I don't really necessarily say I had a favorite college memory. It probably would have been walking across the stage if I got to do that, but I didn't get to do that. But no, everybody I went to school with, I like, we are still close like this to this day. Like I still got the same homegirls, my same roommates. Like we all like locked in. All right, how often do you work out? What do you focus on? So I work out with my trainer twice a week um shout out to them y'all seen them in another vlog but yeah shout out to my boy joe he be getting us together i do like a boot camp so it's kind of like a total body workout it's like cardio we start with cardio and then we either do like full body legs or arms like it just depends on the day i've been working out with my trainer for about a year a little over a year now um i started with him last april and i love it like I feel like that's my motivation to want to work out because I would lay on this couch all day or my bed. But I really do like working out with him and the and the other you know ladies that I work out with. Like we have a good time. He don't play. Like I be sweating. I don't go in there if my hair is freshly done because I'm a mess it up. So um, uh, the other part of that question was also, do I have a workout playlist? No, just because. The gym I go to, we listen to music. So unless I'm like running, we run outside. I'll have my headphones in. And even that, I don't really listen to a playlist. I'll just put on like a future or like a high energy song, like 42 Doug, like somebody that's gonna get me hype while I'm running. Cause y'all, I really be lazy in the gym. But I be doing my workout, but I be not feeling like it. So this question says, do you have a favorite food? yes my favorite food is hibachi it's either hibachi or pasta but it's really hibachi like i love hibachi i love rice i love chinese food like i can literally eat like chinese food like japanese food every if i was stuck on the island i could survive off of that so that's that for y'all okay who is your favorite artist oh my favorite artist is drake it has been and always will be i love him to death because he does not wrong at all he's perfect so i know but i love me some drake like all right y'all so the last question i got was what is a quote that you live by i think that's a great question and i would probably say like two quotes so one i have tattooed on my arm this was my very first tattoo this says god is still working on me it says God is still working on me and every day, every day, that's all I have to say. Like he's working on me, he's working on you and just wants us to be better people every day. So that's definitely like one of the main quotes I live by. And I would say the second one is definitely treat others how you want to be treated. Like I'm very much a firm believer in, you know, anything that you say behind somebody's back it's liable for them to hear it like don't say nothing that you don't want to be heard or you know just in a general like the same the person that's cleaning the hallway treat them the same as your supervisor at work like i just think that's something that you know as people grow up like people start touching money like that they forget and i just think that's crazy like don't ever forget that like ever y'all like that's so crazy everybody is like Everybody deserves to be treated like the same. We're all human, we're all equal, so. But I think that's about it for the questions. Um, like I said, thank you guys for watching. This is probably like one of my shorter videos, but shout out to Jordan Circle, cause y'all real, and I love it here. 
and like comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see next